I'm Kerry Stamp. I'm a certified financial planner. I'm an accredited estate planner. And I'm a chartered advisor in philanthropy. And over the years, I have seen many of my colleagues, unfortunately, exit the business without having a great plan in place. What I'd like to express today is that if you don't have a succession plan in place, you probably have created a situation that's great for whatever broker dealer you work with, if you happen to be affiliated with one, or your business partners who may benefit greatly if you happen to be carried out of the office in a box. So if you don't have a succession plan in place, ask yourself this question. Have you just made your broker dealer the beneficiary of what might be your largest asset, your financial advisory business? Unfortunately, several years ago, one of my colleagues introduced me to a lady in Boca Raton, Florida very elegant one. She had a radio talk show where she gathered information and, and built a business, uh, giving financial advice on the radio and built a great book of business. Well, this lady in her mid sixties was unfortunately diagnosed with a very, very aggressive cancer. She knew it was coming. She didn't want to think about it. She totally uh, was in denial about what she needed to do to plan for her business. When she passed away, her broker dealer simply brought somebody in from the area, gave them the book of business, and they created a, some type of an earn out relationship with this woman's estate. It was minuscule compared to what she could have realized if she'd done some advanced planning or if she'd agreed to talk to somebody like us in advance so that it could have been on paper and in writing. So make sure if you do have a succession plan, it's not in your head because you're not gonna be here for it. It needs to be in writing. There needs to be somebody that knows where it is. It needs to uh, reflect a number of different things. Who should your spouse call? Who should your business partners call? Who's your landlord? Where are your documents? Do you have corporate agreements? Do you have tax returns? Do you have selling agreements with different uh, investment firms? Those things should all be in a binder. Most of us don't have those things in place. But if you want to maximize the value of what your business is worth when you're not here, think about those questions. I'm Kerry Stamp. We're financial advisors and we're successors to many other financial advisors. If we can help you or your firm or just help you get things in order, don't hesitate to call us.